But we've all seen them. You've maybe ridden on them, and whether you love them or hate them, those e-bikes and scooters, they're coming back to Dallas. And today, the city opened up the application process for companies that want to offer them. As our Aaron Jones is showing us tonight, they will have to follow some new rules. Tonight, we're told the main priority is to limit where these rental bikes and scooters can go and how many will be in the city. As you can imagine, there's a lot of mixed reactions. Bro, are you on a bird scooter on the highway? It's incidents like this, a man riding a rental e-scooter down I-35, that led the city of Dallas to ban them two years ago. Insane. And you on the highway, too? They already drive bad enough on the streets. Dwayne Smith, who has worked in Deep Ellum for more than 20 years, says he can speak from experience. Right around the corner, I almost ran over a little girl that was on a scooter. She never saw me coming, okay? So that's just how dangerous it is. When rental bikes and e-scooters return, there will be new guidelines. From now until November 4th, companies can apply for a permit. Then the city will choose three businesses that can each put out 500 rental bikes or e-scooters for the 2022-2023 season. They'll have to comply with no ride zones in places like parks, plazas and trails and slow ride zones in busy entertainment districts like Deep Ellum. It's already enough traffic, so there's going to be more traffic. And Cars aren't going to stop for scooters. They don't stop for people. They really don't bother me, but I hope that people take more care of them, put them back where they're supposed to go. Don't just leave them in random areas. And the city says only a certain number of rentals will be allowed on each block. However, there is some concern about the ability to enforce this. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.